everyone! In this video, I'm going to be opening a package from this place. I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, there you go. This place. Um, so I'm really excited because um, they were advertising that they're selling the latest Jollibee pop. So if you don't know who Jollibee is, he is the mascot for a Filipino restaurant called Jollibee. And um, he is a cute bee. And I have the common version of him. Yeah, I have the common version. And there's like four different versions of him. There's the flock version that I think just recently came out, as well as the metallic version that came um, along with the common version when it first released. So these were only available in the different Jollibees in the Philippines because it was in celebration of Filipino Independence Day. And, um, Unfortunately, I'm in I'm in the U.S. So I do have cousins in the Philippines, but I don't I just don't want to burden them with um, having to get these Funko Pops for me. And plus, like um, I don't know, I, I I just found someone else to do it for me. So I forgot to ask the company if it would come with a sticker, but now that I'm looking at it, it does come with the stickers so this is how they wrapped it and I want to say that Adamatasia that's that's how I'm going to pronounce it um, has an actual store in a big building called Frankenstein's which I actually got a chance to visit because one of the people that I follow on Instagram called Spooksy Boo she was holding an event with all these different um, vendors that sell really spooky and Halloween related stuff so I actually went to visit her and then I just realized that Frankenstein's was this huge warehouse where people can buy um, card games or you know like um, playing cards for card games, um, Funko Pops, collectible figurines, there's so much to see at Frankenstein's so I'll definitely put the information of Animatasia, their, um, I guess their website and also Frankenstein's so you can definitely check them out if you're within California near City of Industry or if you want to travel that far <laughs> to City of Industry because I know it's far for me to travel over there but I actually work around that area so I'm used to driving out that far but it's really um, cool to look around and there's so many different little stores within Frankenstein's that you're definitely going to spend um, maybe a couple of hours or a few hours in there so yeah I, I want to say that they're in there don't quote me on that but yeah I'll definitely put information for Frankenstein's as well as Animatasia but um, the pop comes in a pop protector and it feels really sturdy. So here he is. This is Jollibee and he's wearing um, the Philippine barong. So barong is a traditional outfit that is worn by the men, but also there is a female version for the um, yeah, there's a female version for the women, of course. And um, it's actually um, like different because of the designs for in comparison to male and female. The male have um, the simplistic kind of designs that you can see um, Dolly B is wearing. And I just love how it says Pinoy and proud because I am proud of <laughs> being Filipino. And then it has a sticker right here um, that says 2019 Philippine Independence Day exclusive. And now that I'm looking at the box, it actually is damaged on the front. So I'm definitely going to get in contact with them and see if they can do something about it because I was expecting it to be mint and I did pay a hefty price for it. But um, shipping for stuff like this internationally would cost a lot. So I understood why it was priced the way that it was. But definitely after I had purchased it, um, there were other places that sold it for a bit more cheaper than I got it for. So I'm definitely going to ask um, Amatasia if I can get some sort of comp compensation or something because definitely I'm an inbox collector um, as of now because I still live in my parents' house. But um, I'm fine with the damages in the, uh, in the back of the pop, but it is definitely on the front of the pop as you can see right there. That's how it was and when I push it up. It kind of looks better, but definitely um, it in person it doesn't look good. Like right here, because of I don't I don't know if my camera's actually getting it, but yeah, it it really doesn't look good. Um, but other than that, the rest of the box. Oh no, I lied. There is a dent right here. I wish that I had um, actually opened this earlier, 
but um, this actually arrived when I was in Seattle and um, I wasn't able to open it until now about two, a week or two later so yeah <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed but he looks definitely cool and I love the story behind the barong from what I remember is because back when um, I could be wrong but here's a version that I know about the barong is back then when the Spaniards conquered the Philippines for about 300 years or so um, in order to make sure that the guys weren't holding weapons, they had them wear a barong. So it's, um, you can't tell by how Jollibee is wearing it, but the barong is actually see-through. So then if they had weapons on the side um, of either side of um, their body, they would be able to see it because this would actually be a bit transparent because of the fabric or the material that they use for the barong. But I just love how he looks and he has his iconic pose um, for this figure. So yeah, I I'm definitely really excited <laughs> about getting the figure, um, but not so excited of how it came in damaged because it couldn't have been how it was delivered due to it being in a Funko Pop protector. So I'm definitely gonna have to get in contact with, um, with them to see what they can do about it because yeah, as of now, I am an inbox collector and that does bug me. A lot <laughs> that it's um, damaged in the front as well as there is a scrunched up corner too in the back of the box but yeah but anyways um, definitely tell me what you think about this Funko Pop um, if you added it to your collection and um, yeah if you have eaten at Jollibee I, I definitely do love the restaurant Hey everyone, so this is a quick update about the Jollibee Pop. So I was able to get a replacement, here it is, and it is in mint condition and also in a pop protector from Animatasia. So my boyfriend and I, we actually went to Animatasia to exchange the Jollibee that I originally got and it was because, again, it was damaged but also they hadn't responded to my email. But a week after I had sent that email, my boyfriend actually went to Animatasia within Frankenstein's, which is where they're located. It's this gigantic um, warehouse that's filled with all these other mom and pop shops that sell collectibles. And my boyfriend was able to talk to um, one of the girls that worked there, and they said as long as you bring your email confirmation and the original pop, we're going to be able to exchange it. So after that interaction, my boyfriend and I went back to Frankenstein's together this time and I had the pop and we exchanged it so I'm really grateful um, for the great customer service I know they weren't able to respond to my email um, right away because they were really busy with stuff around that time but I'm just glad that I have him in my collection officially and um, Animatasia actually had the flocked version of Jollibee as well as the metallic version but it's just out of my price range so far so hopefully I'm going to be able to complete the whole Jollibee set and yeah so i'm super excited so um thanks so much for watching if you like this video make sure that you click the like button also make sure that you subscribe if you haven't to my channel already and follow me on my different social media accounts they're gonna be linked in the description below as well as um, information about animatasia i'll also put in a link to the yelp page for frankenstein so you can actually get the address and um, see reviews about the place as well and last but not least i hope you have an awesome day bye